Okay, so I'm getting my walk in. Um, I've got sneakers once I get to the gym, but for now I just stuck them in my bag. So I am trying to slow down a little bit more. It's really difficult for me because I'm so hyper and I am a people person. So when it comes to the whole job situation, um, it's amazing that God has provided for over a year, like a year and three months of me working very little and using resources as he has taken care of me extremely well. Um, he's taking care of post-abortive classes for me after post-abortive classes. And now what you want to do when you've been through trauma and that trauma has been blocked, um, trauma blocks things, blocks memories and blocks a lot. So what you want to do, and this is what I worked on this morning too, is as you get stuff out of the way, whether it was a forced abortion or like I shared about being molested, get those out of the way. And then once you do that, those memories that have been suppressed because of the trauma are going to come back. And then you're gonna feel so much better because you've had the extra time like I have to deal with things. And unfortunately, I think a lot of women don't have the time to deal with stuff that has happened. This is why I love the idea of homemaking because when you're married, and your husband's out working, not only can you take care of yourself really well and more frugally, but you can take better care of your kids. You can take better care of your husband. He is better taken care of because while he's out working hard, everything is taken care of. I mean, me and my husband didn't have like any vacation away from each other. We didn't have, like we had the daily time together, every, like every day. Even when I worked, we still connected daily. Whether it was me going to his work, calling him, um, conversations daily, you know? When I wasn't working with my husband, I'd come home and usually I'd have like his favorite meals on the table for him. And we'd sit down and relax. We would talk about his day. So he had time to get out whatever was bothering him. I had time to talk about my day. He got time to visit his sons a ton of time. I'd fill him in on kind of the business of the day, what was going on. And then we just hung out as a family, whether he wanted to wrestle with his kids or whether, you know, they watch TV together, movie, whatever. This is just such a healthy way to live. Um, so as I am here, on my own, I tried to not work too much to be able to deal with continued stuff because life comes up and if you can live frugally, you know, you have more time too to help your kids. So there's a couple situations that have come up for my guys and I've been able to be there for them. And I think that is one of the biggest uh, things you can give your kids is being there for them your time. So um, I'm still moving forward slowly though. 
All I need is just enough to live on and some money saved. And I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Because I like to, I do like the freedom to do what I want during the day. So when I stayed home, not only did I um, take care of everything at home, but I had time to homeschool my kids, which gave me a better opportunity to go through the things that I have missed. And I had, um, hey there, I had a lot more self-care for me than when I was out working. Like, uh, school was crazy, right? I mean, you're there all the time at school. And then high school, we just wanted to be with our friends. Most of us didn't want to be in school anymore. Um, and then you're busy, you know, living your life, trying to figure out what you're going to do after school, trying to figure out who you'll marry and all this stuff. So um, when you can settle in with kids, it's a great time to make sure that you are uh, giving yourself not only care for your family, but self-care. And then after your kids have grown up, continue the self-care. Because what you didn't have time to do before, you still have some more time to do while you can still do it.